I'm Brage Vestavik, and this is my X Games Explained. I've been a fan of X Games Real for many years. Like I watched a lot of skiing, snowboard, skate, motocross, and and I always thought it would be so sick to bring mountain biking in. So when we first got the invite, I I thought it was fake. Being in the same competition as people I looked up to since I started riding was just just so unreal. And me and Blur Media thought we we should just do our thing. And uh, yeah, that's what we did. So the skinny was a really scary one. I was really keen to do a skinny half cab and we built the drop the night before. It ended up being a little bit taller than I thought. <laughs> so we only had a few hours left of light to get the, the skinny. And I did the whole skinny and then I stopped on the, on the drop and I was like, oh, this is actually really scary. And uh, the worst thing I thought could happen was missing the, the rear wheel and that happened the first go. And I had a really hard slam on the head. Uh, so we, we went really deep into the sesh. All the boys was hyping me up and we was like screaming to each other and stuff. We didn't really talk, we was just like screaming to each other and I had some slams and, and in the end I just had it. That's like a feeling I will never forget. I, I remember landing backwards and rotating off the drop and, and it's like a slow motion moment. I will, yeah, I think I will remember that for the rest of my life. The wheelie tail loop was, uh, was a battle for sure. That was a really hard one. I've done it on a hard tail a few times and I found it really hard to get the pop on the suspension because I was either getting shot forwards or backwards. But in the end, I had that one. It was a little bit sketchy landing. I was keen to, to refilm it. So I actually went back in January to, to film it and that's how I broke my ankle. I was trying to refilm it to get a cleaner landing, but. But when looking at comments, people are actually like stoked on the sketchy landing, so... <laughs> this is one of my favorite features. I've been, been wanting to build one of these for a long time. Uh, we actually filmed it uh, once in uh, October and I only did the 360 out. And straight after that, I was like, oh, I'm, I, I have to do a crank flip up. So in the end of, uh, of the filming, we had time to do the crank flip. And it was actually one of the scariest things to commit to. You have like no room for error. It's like it's round, so you can't really turn anything. Um, also, going for a rotation out was also pretty difficult. You had to like pop up to get the rotation, and the whole thing felt like a like one motion, like crank flip to 360. It, it was it was a sick feeling. The wall ride that was that's like a feeling I will never forget as well. So when I first saw the spot, I built the jump, I built the wall ride, and I was like, okay, the landing is going to be all good. And we went out there, and it was just full of water and clay and mud, and and we had to dig all that mud to the side and fill the whole landing with logs, put like a carpet thing over the logs so the water was not going to come up, and then make like a slide from the top to, to make the, all the dirt slide down. So we got all the good dirt from the top of the hill and got it down to the, to the landing. But in the end, I was like super stoked on how it looks with like that nice red dirt in the middle of all the clay. And I didn't really know if it, if it was going to work or I was going to hit that small landing down there. Also, one thing that made it hard for me was the in run was flat. So you had to pedal into it and it made it kind of hard to judge the speed. But uh, yeah, that's, I think that's one of my favorite features in the video. So the line is one of my, one of my favorite sections to ride. It is uh, it is like it, it feels like just jumping from corner to corner. We we filmed the top and it worked out great. And we we moved further down. Every time we filmed it, I started from the top. I almost crashed really hard a few times on the top because I was like focusing on the bottom. And the, the track is so tight and so like techy, so you got to be like 100% on it all the time. And also the whole line, it, it was so much clay and so much water. So we had to build the line like up all the ground and like dig like drainages and stuff for the water to, to go under. There's a lot of work behind that line and that's also why, it, why it's so special for me. Going into the last drop, I always wanted to do a uh, X up drop and uh, I was thinking I was going to get time to, to practice that X up before, but I, I never got time. So uh, I actually, I first hit the drop once and it worked out, but it was, the landing was so hard and it was also frozen and it was so painful in the ankle, so I was like, oof, holy shit, I, I can't really do this drop many times. But we had a few hours left with light, and I ran up to the top, and uh, I just went through it, and I'm glad it worked out. The slide to, to 360 has been a thing I, I wanted to do for a long time, and this is really inspired by skiing, and skating, BMX, snowboard. Just like, just coming into it, going up, letting your bike and your, your tire just slide moving with the slide and it, and it just shoots you out to a rotation. I thought it was pretty hard to really know where you was because the slide just pushed you out in the rotation, but it, it felt sick. 
And then uh, going into the nose spunk. In a nose spunk is that you, you jump off and you, you press your front wheel into something. I just thought it would look cool to press it into a, into a log. That was a, that was a scary one. Yeah, this is oh, also one of my one of my fe favorite features. Yeah, that was, it, it was a gnarly one. Like it was really painful going into that rock. You, you like felt it into your bones, but it was also a sick feeling. There was a road like as I inrun and I was pedaling like everything I could. I, I had like no gears left. My, my legs was going so quick in then. So you went in like fully pinned, like popped up, kind of cased the rock and rotate off. Uh, that was uh, that was a gnarly feeling for sure. The ender drop, that was, uh, that was a gnarly one. I remember having a hard time to sleep just thinking about that one. <laughs> I was really keen to, to go big and do something big. This was like the best spot I could find. I, I, found, I found those like stamps going up and I was like, oh, this is the spot to build a drop. It was actually a lot of work building that one because the, the bottom was just like filled with, with logs and, and stuff we had to clear out. There was two big stumps in the landing. We had to like winch out. We really wanted to do it in colder conditions because it was really wet and, uh, and muddy. It, it ended up just staying like this and we just had to hit it up. I hit it once and uh, I kind of popped and I overshot a little bit. It was it was so heavy, like my, my ankles and my, my, my wrist was so painful. It felt like getting like a <laughs> electric shock in my body. And uh, I did something to my bike as well. And everyone was like, oh, let's call it there. And we got it. We were stoked, but I was, we was like a little bit unsure on the, on the one shot from the side. Woke up the next morning and it was not raining and I knew the guys was there. So I was like, okay. We gotta do it one more time. I woke them up and we just went there before breakfast and we got that one more time.